We call this home the downtown dream, and you're not going to want to miss it. Hi, everybody. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando, and look at where I am. Look at the ground that I am on, this brick road. We are in the heart of the historic downtown Winter Garden area, and this is my newest listing, and it is amazing. All of the character and charm you could possibly want or imagine for a home built in 1949. This, my friends, is a no-HOA community, so if that's something that was on your list, then here you go, my friends. This is an amazing opportunity. This home built in 1949 has been updated, but you know what? It's waiting for you to add your own touch and flair. This is about a 2,100 square foot home, and I cannot wait to show it to you. My heart is really attached to this one. This area, we're talking like four blocks from Plant Street, which is your um, the historic downtown Winter Garden, the all of the, the bistros and the eateries and West Orange Trail and the Farmer's Market on Saturdays. This is your golf cart district, guys. This is the place where you can have a golf cart and you can just scoot yourself downtown to uh, to get something to eat, to have a bite, to have a cup of coffee with friends. This is an amazing opportunity. So this home, again, about 2,100 square feet, all of the cute character and charm you could possibly imagine. You know, no more boxy new construction, which by the way, I love. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is what there's history and this feels like home. This is a great place to really either start start out your family or maybe even downsize and anything in between. So let's talk about this amazing, oh, it's not even a floor plan with a name. This is just this amazing home. So this floor plan, again, is about 2,100 square feet. Now, it's because they've added on something, which we'll talk about as we go, but let's talk about the home the way it is now. So as soon as you enter, and by the way, a really cute little entryway, I love that with the little mirror off to the side. But here we are in the family room area, right here at the front of the the home reminds me so much of the house that I grew up in. I absolutely love it. Nice big space here. You can see that they've updated the flooring um, and you have from this family room area, then tucked back over here, you have an additional space. So family room, living area, again, keep in mind the way homes looked back then, the way that they were kind of organized and compartmentalized. So let's save this part for a minute. Let's go down this hallway over here. So the hallway down here is going to provide you with three bedrooms as well as two bathrooms. So over here to my left, to, or to my right to your left, is going to be the bathroom. Now remember, all of the cute character and charm of a home built back in 1940s. That is an amazing little one bathroom. You've got linen closets. I love this. All of the little doors. Everything is so quaint and amazing. You'll notice there is no carpet in this home because they have, over the years, the home has been updated from homeowner to homeowner. And this, again, has the hardwood floors, but Guys, this is the hardwood floor indicative of the area, like actual hardwood flooring. Really beautiful. Bedroom over here, ceiling fan. There's another bedroom right over here to the side. Again, nice bedroom. Again, no carpeting. Closets. This one located at the front corner of the home has a lot of natural light coming in. Double window from the front, double window from the side. A lot of space here uh, and a lot of sunlight coming in. And the master bedroom or that primary bedroom is tucked back over here, kind of at the side rear of the home. And this one is a nice big room as well. And you can see again, let's just take a look at this. I love this. Look at the closet space. So you have the doors here with your closet space. It's going to go down. And then you've got another little storage back over there. And then you have that primary bathroom again, all indicative and characteristic of a home built in the 1940s. I love this the little arched entrance over here. But here's where it gets cool. And this is where I'm just infatuated with this home. I love, love love it. So this door right here used to go to the kitchen. Well, now it actually is the laundry room because in the course of this home's history, it was renovated. And this kitchen, which by the way, it's a small little kitchen, right? If you imagine it back in the day, I imagine the sink right there looking out over the window. But now this is actually the laundry room, as you can see. Cabinetry up above. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. But here's, this is it, guys. This is my favorite thing. The swinging door, which now actually 
actually brings you into the additional part of the home. So over here, we've kind of added in uh, what used to be a carport is now enclosed, heated and air conditioned space. So that's why this is now about 2,100 square feet. So from the little swing door, which I'm in love with, taking you here to this little porch patio area that is now actually the dining area. Um, and you can see here the little doorway that steps up right back to where we were when we started the video. That's into the living room area. But here's your quaint dining area. And then you're going to come down this little step into the actual hub of the home, the heart of the home. This is going to be your new family room area and the kitchen where it was relocated. Definitely updated with granite counters, cabinets. You've got more of the modern conveniences here. And this is a nice little kitchen that's kind of tucked back over here. Again, open to the family room area. So here's something that's really unique and interesting about this floor plan and where this home is located. When you look at the actual county records, this is actually two home sites side by side with one structure. So it's actually two lots, 96 and 97 here, platted in this historic downtown Winter Garden area. And each of those home sites was 60 feet wide. Now that means that this home site is 120 feet wide, 120 feet wide by 125 feet deep. So let's take a look at the outside again. 120 feet wide by 125 feet deep. That's deeper than most of these new construction home sites. Take a look at this enormous outdoor space here. No matter what you want to do, if you want to add and extend, if you want to put in a pool, if you want to add an additional structure, all of these things are opportunities here for multiple reasons. Number one, you actually have the land with which to do it. You have all of this space, which is enormous. These absolutely incredible, magnificent, historic trees back here. But here's the thing that's really um, advantageous to you to be able to really create your own kind of um, design, your own dream for this home and for this area is that this is a non-HOA community. So anything that you opt to do here is something that as long as you go through the proper permitting with the county, you're good to go on that. And that's one of the great appeals. You know, everything about this home is so quaint. It has such character. Even the windows there in the little Little dining area. Everything just takes me back and it, it kind of anchors you and it makes you feel like you're home again. I hope you've enjoyed touring this downtown dream. Give me a call at 407-848-8042. Remember, stay safe, stay well. We love you and happy house hunting.